Hello and welcome to SolidCAD. Today we are going to make this part. This is SolidWorks uh, CSWA exam question. There is A, B and C are the global variables. A is 86, B is 58 and C is 44. And uh, rest of this are the all the dimensions here. And we will go through one by one. Okay, let's, let, let's start. I'll open a new file. Okay. On the front plane, I will draw a circle of 14 millimeter, not 443, 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter, sorry. I will draw a rectangle. and make it construction like so I will give it a dimension before giving a dimension I better go to uh, tools and equations and add some global variables a is 86 86 and B is 58 58 and C is 44 so these are our global variables you can see it here these are defined here okay now I will go to sketch again open the sketch and give it a dimension equals global variable a okay and this is equals global variable b okay so this is defined let me draw a line here from here to here somewhere and another line from here to there and I will go about there and draw a line here angular line here and I will go back and turn it to arc and match it here and draw a line here like so like so now I will put a here point here and give it a dimension of 19 millimeter from here 19 millimeter okay this is from here to this point is 29 millimeter like so this is 32 this is 14 from here to here cancel from here from here to this point is 14 millimeter and so is this this is 14 also okay this is 19 millimeter radius radius is 19 millimeter and the angle between this and this and this is equals to 10 millimeter 10 degree like so this is 24 24 millimeter and this is 29 millimeter like so and th this is from here to here is 19 millimeter like so and uh, let me draw a center point arc from this point I'll start from here and go back go up there and trim it the extra trim the extra uh, let me choose the power trim I will trim it extra control Z okay I don't trim it I will make a fillet here of 5 millimeter from here to here 5 millimeter okay like so 
what dimension is left dimension 14 here and from 14 from here to here is also 14 and there is a radius dimension here is 29 millimeter sketch is fully defined only the chamfers are left so I will go for chamfers sketch chamfer angle distance I will select first this line and then this line the first one I select will give me the distance okay and this is is 10 not 10 millimeters 7 millimeter control Z I will go for chamfer sketch chamfer 7 millimeter okay this and this this and this and this 7 millimeter okay and okay I will enter and I will go for another dimension here like so and now is okay and I will enter again and give it 5 millimeter this time I will check this and this is 5 millimeter okay everything is defined this is 5 millimeter here 24 millimeter this is our global variable a b and c 19 millimeter 32 millimeter here 14 millimeter here 7 millimeter here and 7 here 45 degree 45 degree here okay now it's time for extrude I will extrude it I will take mid plane and equals global variable C okay so this is our first first uh, modification so next I will go for uh, another this this cut I will make this cut here first I will make this cut here this this is 19 millimeter deep here and 19 millimeter from here this is this is and 52 millimeter from here to here so let me cut this first I will sketch here I will draw a line like so and another line here and I'll join these okay I will make this and this collinear and this and this also collinear okay this collinear like so and give it a dimension it this is already 19 because I draw it from here and this is 52 from here to here it's 52 millimeter like so now I will cut it I will cut it flip side to cut so this side will everything outside this box is cut up to 19 millimeter like so in one go we achieve both of our cuts here now I will go for this cut here this is 41 radius here and 36 millimeter from here to here and this is 24 millimeter wide and 12 is behind this this uh, the wall is 12, 12 millimeter here okay so I will go for front plane draw the sketch I will draw uh, draw a center line first from here from this point to up here somewhere and from there I will draw a sketch from here to here I will convert these entities convert and with the trim tool I will extend them extend these this and this and I will trim them I will trim it this and this this point and this line must be coincident so here from here to this point is 36 millimeter and this radius is this radius is let me check this is 
41 radius 41 millimeter 41 the sketch is fully defined let me trim the extra one this and this like so and also i will trim this the sketch is fully defined nothing left i think yes there is something left here now now the sketch is complete normal to i will cut it cut i will from one direction i will re reverse it and 10 give it 10 mm because we are in the center and this is uh, 44 mm so half of it is 22 22 12 is 10 so we go 10 this side and 14 the other side for 24 mm 14 sorry 14 mm 14 mm like so okay not boss extrude sorry this is cut extrude i will delete it delete yes and use the sketch and cut extrude actually cut extrude 10 here and other side is 14 mm like this like so so this is 12 mm here you can see this 12 mm here and that's what we want there is a hole here of 11 mm 11 mm and the dimensions are from here to this line is 14 and from here to there there is also 14 mm this is fully defined i will cut extrude through all okay so this is complete now the next modification is this hollow hollow out shelled out piece here we will do this now on this surface i will draw a sketch first i will make it show edel line visible i will offset this 1 mm okay and i will offset everyone 1 mm offset sorry offset I will take this offset one millimeter. I will take this offset one millimeter. I will take this and offset one millimeter. Now I will use trim tool, trim tool, and take the corner, and I will make all these corner here. like so now i will cut extrude reverse direction through all okay so this is done now i will go back to the normal view here and uh, i will draw offset here offset 1 mm inside okay everything is inside so let me cut it cut offset from surface and surface is this and the size is 1 mm 1 mm okay like so so this is our part let me give it a material of ai si 1020 and let's check the evaluate mass properties 432.58 is the answer and this is the correct answer i hope you will like this and learn something out of it and uh, and please subscribe thanks for watching